Do you know we have so many Christians who don't even know the power of the blood of Jesus? They don't even use it. Last time they mentioned the blood of Jesus was in Sunday school. There's so much power in the blood of Jesus. I'm telling you. There's so much power in the Holy Communion. There is power. These things I'm telling you now here. Understand me. Let's go to number five. Number five. Forgetfulness. Ever wonder? Some, some people, I said some of these things, some of these things, one of them could be you, one could be another. So some of you is witchcraft, some of you is forgetfulness, some of you it is to do with torments, some of you it is losing things, some of you is both of everything. You need no, 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 no. Deliverance is underestimating. I see you. <laughs> Intensive care. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Do you know what is going on? On number five, forgetfulness. This could happen with some people. They just can't understand. It's like they lose. I can't really call it loss of memory there's a problem loss of memory is when when you you have a problem where you forget this could be due to sometimes brain damage or other things but however forgetfulness it is when you go blank at some point in time you know you go just go blank you're like ah sometimes even you go in a room like this and he said, ah, what am I doing in this room? What did I come to do? <laughs> Blank. What happened? It could be a spiritual attack. Where sometimes, at that point in time, your mind, your brain, it could be a spiritual issue which you may need attention. Spiritual attacks. Number six. Poverty. There are 21 types of poverty. Poverty is a sign of a spiritual attack. It can't be. Wait a minute. It can't just be that nobody must be rich in your family. Something is wrong. It's a spiritual attack. I'm telling you. It just can't be that no matter how you work, no matter how you do this, you just have to be poor all the times. And I told you, there is one sign to know you are poor. Your bank account. How many here say, I can perceive an attack with a spirit of poverty? I want to break it for you. Do I have anybody here who says, prophet, I can perceive it? And I need this spirit to leave and go. I command in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit of poverty is leaving your bank account. Is leaving your finances. Is leaving your house. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. Number seven. The spirit of fear. Have you noticed the Bible addresses fear as a spirit? It says what? We did not receive the spirit of fear, but of power. Fear is a spirit. In fact, it flies during the day and it flies during the night. And the book of Psalms 91, the Bible says you shall not fear. You see, it says what flies by night and what flies by day. It can fly to your direction and you begin to fear. Do not fear. Fear is a sign you are under spiritual attack. Can you imagine as a giant, the Bible says we are more than conquerors. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Can you imagine you are scared? Like, what's going to happen? 
What is going to happen? The Bible says in 2 Timothy 1 7, it says, We did not receive the spirit. Check that scripture. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Fear is so spiritual. That's why it is saying a spirit. It is very spiritual. If you are so scared all the time, just feeling, feeling what will happen. Be careful. A spirit may take over and you may lose your blessing. It is a spiritual attack. Number eight, rejection. Rejection is a sign of spiritual attacks. This rejection is in two ways. One, it is where people reject you. Two, it is where you feel rejected. Feelingly hated. Like people hate me. Or sometimes it works opposite, where in fact people just reject you. They don't want you. They just hate you. You have done nothing wrong. You apply here, they reject you. You do this, you are rejected. Everywhere, banks reject you. Everything you do, rejection. If you are sensing this, just know you need deliverance against the spiritual attack, the demonic attacks that you are facing. Somebody say, every rejection spirit, every, rejection spirit. every, attack. every attack, every spirit of rejection, every spirit of rejection. I, command I command you come out of my life. Some people, it's because of what they went through when they were young. And the demon of rejection found its way and is sitting in there now. The people feel so rejected everywhere they go. Even if nobody is rejecting them. And because of that, even other people begin to reject them. The world rejects them. Everything rejects them. Because there's a spirit behind of rejection. You are under spiritual attack. It is a very deep matter. How come only your company doesn't make it? How come you're always rejected? Let's go to number what? Number nine. Number nine. Somebody say number nine. number nine. Repetition. So this repetition could be when you fall under the spirit of a circle. It is also known as a circle spirit. You move from here. Look at this. You move from here. Here, you have begun your journey. Papa, things are moving. Ah, now I'm testifying. Things are moving. Only to find again, you are back where you were. Yet you are moving. Things were moving. You find back to where you were. We have people who are writing exam every year. They write, they repeat. They can't finish their school. We have people who are repeating same issues. You see, others is death. Same month, someone has to die every year. And because some people are not yet attentive enough, they don't even notice it. Some, after every four years, someone must die. There is a repetition. Some this one, divorced, divorced, divorced. The, it is repeating in the family. Your family is under spiritual attack. You need deliverance. I'm telling you, you need, it can't be everybody is passing through the same issue. There's a repetition, there's a pattern. It must break. Say so break. Break it with your faith and confidence. Say, break. break. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Number 10. Hmm. 
bad dreams or nightmare. Hear this. The first thing you must know about dreams. Dreams happen in the spirit. <laughs> when now the demons begin to think, I think we now need to chat with this guy in their dreams. For you to know you're under spiritual attacks, dreams. On dreams, it could be God showing you that you're under spiritual attack, or it could be you experiencing the attack in the dream. So you may actually have a dream where God could be warning you of a spiritual attack. Or it could be a dream where you are actually facing the attack itself. The devil says now, we'll do man to man. I'll face you. Just see a big lizard chasing you. <laughs> you cramp the tree, it also cramps the tree. You begin to fly in the dream. The lizard also develop wings. Begins to fly. <laughs> you wake up like this, you're sweating. <sighs> Praise God, it was a dream. Ash. <laughs> What's happening over there? Spiritual attacks manifesting in dreams. Even some are given food to eat. Spiritual husbands. Can you imagine such type of attacks? People are passing through things. And I'm saying to you tonight, Jesus gave us the power. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Jesus gave us the power to stand and to command such demonic attacks to come out. Somebody shout in the name of Jesus. Roba zuteke parahata. Every attack in your, in your dreams. Whether they come directly or indirectly. I command them to come out. Now. This number 10. Are you following? This number 10. The one for bad dreams. Goes hand in hand with the spiritual attack also. Sometimes of forgetfulness. So when the devil attacks you in the dream, appears you in the dream, then they make you forget. So you wake up in the morning no more. And someone was even proud of it. He's like, me? I don't remember my dreams. You must be very careful. You must be very careful. Tell that neighbor next to you, you must be very careful. Tell that neighbor next to you, you must be very careful. Deuteronomy 28. All right? I want you to see this from verse 1. I'll read verse 12 quickly. Now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all Nations of the earth. Before I even uh, read the rest, can you see it is God's will to set you above all other nations, all the whole world? It is God's will. He actually says, if you shall obey Him, He will put you above, on top. If you shall obey. That takes us to number 11. Disobedience. It's a spiritual attack. Someone says disobedience. 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 You're under spiritual attack. This disobedience also works in this way. It makes you start desiring your old ways. Can you imagine you're a believer? Jesus is inside of you. And all of a sudden, you begin to desire what you were doing before you were saved. 
what people in the world are doing. You begin to desire such type of things. Just know you are under spiritual attack. Do not think twice about it. You were there before. The Lord took you out of that place and put you in a place of light. And all of a sudden, you are desiring the other side. God took them out of Egypt. And when they were out of Egypt on their way to Canaan, they're like, Moses, we miss garlic. Can you take us back? We miss onion. How can a matured person forget how they were working in slavery in Egypt? How can a matured person forget how they were being mistreated by Pharaoh? Because of onion and garlic. To them, even the, 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 uh, the whales, roasted meat which was falling from heaven was nothing. They said, no, 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 we, 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 we miss onion. Spiritual attack. You begin to desire your old you. Just know your, that is a spiritual attack. And before you know it, you will fall into another attack. That's how you fall. So if you look at them, if you look at these spiritual attacks, in fact, they may actually marry one another. This one may bring this one. This one may bring this one. This one, before you know it, you are under control again. You are being controlled again. You are back to the world. And again, you can't stay without drinking, smoking, drugs. You are back to the addictions. You are back to pornography. You are back to things which you came out. Because now you are under control. So there is this disobedience. You begin to disobey. You hear the voice. But you begin to disobey. You are under spiritual attack. Disobedience. That's why the Bible says disobedience is good as witchcraft. The Bible says so. It is as good as witchcraft. <laughs> disobedience is a spiritual attack. Somebody said disobedience. 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 We need to uproot all these roots. One, the spirit that makes you lose things. The spirit of physical torments. Witchcraft. Every spirit Operating, controlling must come out. I say must come out. We are standing again tonight to break and command these things to go. Number 12, failure. Failure. Failure is a sign of spiritual attack. This failure could be personal or outside, within or out. What are within failures? Failing to control yourself. Failing to control your tongue. Failing to control your emotions. Can you imagine angry? Two days you're still angry. My friend. It is demonic attacks. So that's within failures. Outside failures could be whatever you do. Can you imagine we are in the same class? Same teacher. The teacher teaches and finishes. And he gives an exercise to write. And you don't even know where to start from. <laughs> if it is happening with your children, I told you that there are five things. And among them it is this one, failure. Failure. It is a sign of spiritual attacks. You fail. You go to interview, you fail. Everything you try to do fails. You even say, ah, you know, I tried this business, it failed. This one failed. 
no success around you. There is nothing successful you can point. I did it that it worked. Failure, failure, failure from school. When you were even young, you would fail this, you would fail. And you're older now. You are into business. Fails. This one fails. Try to sit it down and count all your failures together. It is enough evidence that you are under spiritual attack and you need help. The more you are delaying for this help, the more you are doing bad to yourself. The evidence is too much. I'm telling you, too much evidence. Failure is too much. Everything you're trying to do fails. This fails, that fails, this fails. Everything is failing, including your own marriage or your relationship. Anything you're trying to do is failing. There is a spiritual attack. And I want you to say with me with a loud and clear. Say, I command failure. I command failure. Every spirit of failure. Every spirit of failure. I command you out. In the name of Jesus, I command you out. You know where to attack. The teaching you have heard it yourself. You know which area is affecting you. If it is all the areas, I want you to command every area to disappear. And tonight, that freedom is on your mouth. Your deliverance is on your mouth. Your freedom is on your mouth today. What you say, it is what is going to happen. I'm telling you right now, Jesus is Lord. Wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, wherever you are, say in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual demonic attack. Tonight, I come against you. I oppose you. In the name of my Lord, Jesus Christ, I oppose you. Every satanic argument. Every spell, every witchcraft, every demonic influence, every demonic interference, I command you out.